is Miami Heat facing against the Milwaukee Bucks back at Pfizer Block Forum. This is a win or go home for Milwaukee Bucks. If they don't win, the Miami Heat for the underdog team will be moving on into the next round to face against the other team between the Pacers or the Cavaliers. Now this is where the game where they're looking for, but you'll see what comes in. Now for the next commentary, I will have to learn the right in between of the in the most two. Well, it's Kevin Ireland, and he's back along with the 2K Sports crew and David Eldridge on the sideline. Now let's get your things covered here and get to Pfizer Dot Forum before back to NHL. See you later, everybody, for the last part of the game on the other side of it of the regulation period before the post-game show. Here we go! Bucks Heat next! Let's preach your visiting team of the Miami Heat. And 404, Haywood Ice Smith. At point guard, Craig Rozier to third. And your four position, Tyler Hero. At center, Bam on a bio. And the small four position, Jimmy Butler. The good coach for the Miami Kings, Eric Spolstra. Time to meet your starting layers for you, the Milwaukee Bucks. And the shirt is going to go this shape. And at six foot three inches, number five, Molly Beasley. The man, the man in the center, seven, seven feet tall, number 11. Number 22, Chris Middleton. That boy guard is a shade. Six foot four inches. Number zero, Damian Lillard. And forward, six foot eleven. Number 34, Janice. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, Vincent Cowhart. So the opening lineup for the Heat. The wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the power four. And for the Bucks, Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. And it's Lillard in the point. And late in the regular season, Greg, in your decade plus in the NBA, you were looking forward to the playoffs more often than not. And as a player, you have to avoid that temptation to look ahead. But when you do, much nicer to look forward to the playoffs than vacation. Hero on the wing. And there's the pass to Highsmith. Easily against Hero. Here's Heisman. Haywood Heisman. Assisted by Tyler Hero. It's not like for confidence. Uh, yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Chase Archer Kubo. Even the top of the square for Young. David Lillard. The Heat, their last game lost to the Celtics in Boston. Hero kicks to Rozier. To the wing, Ice with the pass to Autobahn. 
Some nice wall movement here by the Heat. Shot clock at six. Rozier finds zero. Butler from outside. Jimmy Butler for three. He's out of the box fast. Hero knowing about the wins and the wares for an assist. Middleton the pass to on the Kumbo. Lopez outside. Here's Middleton. Chris Middleton! Of the D in that possession there, making the cover of Lopez. Outside Butler. To the wing right side. Passes to Rogier. Adebayo passes to Rogier. Pass to Highsmith. That's good. They win Highsmith for three. three. Assist you've got five. Very Rogier to throw. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And the defense has got to be a little bit better, especially when he's looking to fire from that distance. Outside, out of Kumbo. Jonas, out to the Kumbo. Fun to see the handles coming out there from a Teddy Kumbo. I mean, how do you stop a near seven footer who's got some dribble skills like that? Box foul, number 11, Brooke Lopez. His first personal foul, first team foul. Identification process in their scale. A line for Miami. Fantastic. Bam on the bio. Taking two shots. So it's a nice mix. You have young guys, you have veterans, and then they have the right star to follow. the defensive impact he's going to make. So selfless down there to throw his body around, block shots, get out and guard pick and rolls, and he does it so consistently for this squad. It gives them a chance to win every night because Bam's willing to do the dirty work. And that's good as he gets both of his shots. Welcome to the Bucks, GA. They've made the playoffs every year since 2017. And as long as Giannis is at the helm, Street should continue for a while. He's arguably the best player in the world. Guys want to play with this kid. Now, what am I up? After the miss, three from Damian Little. Here's Highsmith. He was Highsmith. This is from Adebayo. It's six. Highsmith. Bam on Adebayo. Points. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. There's the one up. And the Kumbo. Yes, I'm Kumbo. Damian Lillard. Pass to Highsmith. Arrow on the wing. Now the pass to Rozier. Fires the three. And Gary Rozier to third. For three. As good as it gets. He sits. Tyler Hero. The basketball. Here's Lillard. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. Here's Middleton, and he beat Pat, number 13, Pam on a bio. His first personal top. So we're first team foul. Uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? A line for the Bucks, Chris Middleton. Attractive guys like Jimmy Butler here. A line for two. That's the style of ball they want to continue playing.
and that one falls for Middleton. And what a stretch it's been, Brent, for this Milwaukee franchise. All started by the drafting of Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, just identifying him is one thing, Kevin. you got to also acknowledge the work that Giannis has put in. After that, they have done a great job of building around him. Had that not been the case in Milwaukee, you have to wonder whether he would have re-upped and signed that extension with the Bucks to continue his career here. And what would have happened in free agency? Now, here's Rogier. And you know the points always be there for him. He's averaging just a shit under 20 points a game right now. Takes a three. The kick outside to Butler. Here's Adebayo. Sam Adebayo. This is Jimmy Butler. People don't always talk about Jimmy Butler, the playmaker. Timeout. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. They traveled to Milwaukee last time they faced the Bucks, and they came away with a win. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid, and the bench was the difference. Well, the second unit came in last game and just played lights out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. Quick timeout right now. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. All settled in, ready to go. Back to you, Kevin. Well, a new line up here for the Bucks, and a new group in for the Heat. Here's a look at some of the stats for the Heat. Who is on position to hold for the Milwaukee Bucks? Number 23, Pat Connaughton. Number 9, Bobby Portis Jr. Number 99, Jay Crowder. Number 21, Patrick Beverly. Heat leading by five. Outside Robinson. And our 12, Emilio Gallinari. Shoots over Crowder. And again, it's the Heat missing. Well, mid range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slowly get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. And there's Jerry Crowder. He to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain him. Right, the best to Robinson. Outside Butler. Good ball movement here by Miami. Spaz Robinson. Here's Jovic. And again, it's the Heat missing. Bucks trail by three. Robinson picks the better. Let's go, Bucks! Get six. Here's Alari. Can't hit from in close. But he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go. Jaden not that shoot. Not really a factor. Assist. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And the officials have called the illegal screen. Offensive foul on the illegal screen. Bobby Boyers Jr. Miami balls to be an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Under two minutes remaining in the first. 149 left to play in the first quarter. Outside Robinson. Outside Butler. Robinson passes to Hawkins. Buries the Jamie Hawkins Jr. Here three. Hawkins has got his second pass. six. Tonight. Duncan Robinson moves himself. He moves the ball quite well. Trying to get Beverly. And it's Miami with the rebound. Man, what about Duncan Robinson? Brent from undrafted to signing Jimmy Butler. A million dollar contract. Well, that's a nice path to be on. Don't you think, Kevin? You gotta admire Duncan Robinson taking advantage. Let's go! Oh. 
Gibbs down the lane. Uh, Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Looking to end the run. And it's Beverly missing. Butler feeling out of it. And Wright picks him up. Wright the pass to Hodges. Here's Jovic. Fades and shoots. And there's Elon Wright. Right. One for the Heat. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Patrick Beverly! Tough on the defense when you let Beverly beat you on the inside. That can get his confidence going from the outside. So damage from the paint that time. Now here's Wright. He points his last outing. And Robinson. Okay, and Robinson. Just by Wright. This is Elon Wright. Beverly against Wright. Steps back and fires. And it's Beverly missing. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. That's the end of the first quarter. Miami and 30. It's the Heat. And the Milwaukee Bucks. E.T. We'll be back momentarily. A little bit of a start run here for Miami Heat, but hopefully we'll see how this one goes. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. Second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. In a moment now, to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Miami. Hey guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. And I like that they've also emphasized the three-point line. They've drained a good number from beyond the arc this year. Bucks trail by 12. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstein is on the floor. Heat five, number 55, Robert Robertson. First of all, with first team foul. And Ty Smith in at the power four. The line with Milwaukee Bucks. So far, Chris Middleton. A line for two. To the essential components of the game to the NBA, how much importance to the focus on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You want a few guys in the locker room who see it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. Middleton hits them both. So many teams out there are trying to find their next Chris Middleton. This is a guy that works hard, always ready to drop a shot, to play defense. It's a switch plate at that wing position. Lopez with the steal. Giannis dishes to Lillard. He kicks to Beasley. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Middle to the pass to Lopez. Good in the Lopez! The three! Chris Middleton. Whatsoever from Brooke Lopez in that three. Now here's Tree Fred. He's coming off a 10-point game against Washington. Arrow on the wing. Martin kicks to Rozier. Six to shoot. Here's the three. Rebound Milwaukee. Beaten by the Pacers in the last game. They'll try to put that one behind. can affect your confidence not just as the player shooting but the entire team so defenses might get a little bit more aggressive and you got to think about the next free throw. So it's Miami now after the basket by Milwaukee. Oshier and no good the tricep continuing for him. And Greg with the coaching changes in Milwaukee where are they looking for improvement? Okay they they been dominant in the about the play Miami ball just oh. lost. Timeout. Now, timeout called by Miami. We've only seen Jerry Rozier going all out, going great to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way.
way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the charts. For the next game coming up, we've got yours underway as we have a Nar one of a rank and appreciate you. This one we're heading back to the NHL, the Ben, we're getting some game six matchups. Right in between those two, it seemed like it's gonna be a game necessary for the Bucks sending Heat, but it seems like the Heat are trying to battle along, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. And then for the other side of the NBA, we have a first one to start for round two as the Nuggets sit on the Mavericks at Ball Arena for the first game of round two. And then before we head back into game six, and then the next game will be an opponent and start a number two, round two of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. But along with seven games in between of NHL, Lightning and the Rangers, and Knights against the Oilers. Now back to Kevin. I'll be all here on Son of Beast. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Chris Middleton. And then maybe it's shocking, maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. And I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Again, the miss by the Heat. Bucks trail by five. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Miller misses. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just three fights. Three fights. Ice with the pass to Rogier. This is a good one. I am no good on that time either. And the effort never stops. We have no easy shots. When he's on the Here's Martin following the basket by Giannis. Okay. Better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's Damien Lillard! Great job of just getting into the middle of that defense. And Three fights! Three fights! Now, here's Rozier. Pass to Heisman. Here's Hero with a three. Lots to Google, pulls it in. That's Milwaukee's ball. They pick up 11th straight, and with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Giannis Adetokounmpo remains so consistent. Chris Middleton! David Lillard. Eight balls, I'm out. I don't get the great best players never get the They always give their best every given night. That's my mindset. I love it. Thank you so much for the report. Now it's on a call by Miami. And now a veteran in the NBA. You get the feeling every season is important to Dame Lillard. Yeah, but I get the feeling, Greg, that it's just not enough. These individual accolades and these high-scoring seasons. Dame Lillard wants to play in competitive basketball late into June. So it's going to be about championships for him moving forward. We're getting down the end of the second half, second quarter. As right now, coming up will be the halftime show as we have this Ernie Johnson along with Kenny Smith and Shep O'Neill for the halftime report for the first half in between the Miami and Milwaukee. They are the close games right now, but this is not always going to be easy, but it ain't a lot of time to have it out there. Do you think that this will happen again? I don't know. I mean, you might be what they did. It could be one way to have that resolution in here, but hopefully we'll see how it comes out. Half time shows are away after the first half is finished. Back to you, Kevin. Josh Richardson checked in for here. Richardson. Checking in for the heat. Josh Richardson. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. Right around 21 points per, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. And he really anchors them defensively with that tenacious play on that side of the ball. He loves to get up into the uniform of his opposition and make you work for everything that you get offensively. And so the ball's out of bounds. Miami ball. The playoffs here. Let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings. You look at the Bucks. Right now, they're locked into third place in the conference, looking to get a high seed for the playoffs. 
and checking out Miami. Right now, they're five spots below them. And I think for Milwaukee, well, they've got their sights set pretty darn high right now. Josh Richardson, you know, this, this season, a six. is nothing Not like Barton. of a type. A massive amount of confidence, tremendous swagger with this team. And they believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. That's the reason. Mike Deliver. From deep. Two for three. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Beasley finds open. Back to Beasley. Little right side. And it's out of Kumbo on the wing. Tries again. No good there. Great D that time from Adebayo. And it's Adebayo with the ball for Miami. They couldn't put the pieces together. Very close here. Nice matchup with Boston. Yes, yes. That was it. Ben Adebayo. Yeah, he'd like to find some teachable moments. I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Yeah, and quick. He'd like as quick as possible. That was a dismal showing, especially for them at the offensive end. Here's Middleton. After Terry Rozier's basket. It's Adebayo with the rebound. Adebayo's got six rebounds in the game. No bounds against Rozier. The pass to Highsmith. There's the triple. That's Taylor and Highsmith for the first. Highsmith's got ten points in the game. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed and getting out of Here's Lopez. And nothing is falling for him right now. Miami leading by five. Here's Heisman. Hey, boy, Heisman. Here's Heisman. Here's Beasley. Still without a basket. And Milwaukee calls timeout. Time out of the game. And it doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. We're nearing down the end of the second quarter of the first half as we have the halftime show coming up. That will be the next one on its way, so you don't want to miss that one out. For the halftime show, Brian Machine, Ernie Johnson, Katie Smith, and Chad are all prepped in and ready to get things going. That will be the next part of it underway after this first half's completion. And with that one being said on the mind, if you're ready for the tour, we're ready to have that one covered for you for BFTR and Sanity. So I hope you enjoyed that trip. And this is going to be a wild, wild place in between. And hopefully by 2025, this one might be the new change expansion plan. So this could be right in between from June to August. Right in between those dates, we have a little bit of like a world tour going on. Might be right in your place. Well, I guess there might be one of the Atlanta fans that's happening here. Might be from another state. Kansas City, Chicago, Illinois that we have, Nashville, or any kind of that. Well, there might be one chance out there, so we'll have to find out soon enough. All right, Kevin, let's get you back in there. We'll see you all later after this game, first half. Jimmy Butler comes in. Now check it back on the court where Miami needs to follow. Richardson. This is it. We're waiting in first half. Two minutes. Now Portis. Pass to Covington. They can use a bucket. Ice Rift grabs the miss. And yeah, battling hard on the glass. They only had Jimmy Butler. And right now they're just focused on putting together good possessions. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots. Knocked them down. And the game is fully in their control. Now here's Crowder. He averages a bit over six points a game. Portis. The baseline Jay off the mark. All the energy is on the other side right now. Every miss just makes it. The other team is scoring. 
come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. Rogier for three. Kalahari with the rebound. Maybe a time to rest him right now, just give him a bit of a breather, try to help him get back on track. Connaughton passes to Portis, kicks it to Beverly. Back to Portis. And Bobby Portis Jr. Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them. Great awareness on that. Adebayo with the elbow. Pass to Highsmith. Shoots over Portis. Highsmith shines off. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Beverly, the pass to Portis. Can't cash in from close range. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Here's Heisman, defended by Portis. Fires it up. And he wiggles the Heisman. Sinking right through off the back eye. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Gotta fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coach is not true. Beverly. We need to see him give up in that situation. Rogier, the best for Robbins. Shoots over Connaughton, and so we wrap up. And that's the end of the first half. Three bucks. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. 38. Oh, he got it. Thanks very much, Doc. I heard you imploring your team stick to the game plan and know your personnel. What's that mean? We'll see if the communication picks up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It was all about Miami as the game got going. They led by as many as 12 points, fueled by tough defense and great offense. While the lead changed hands quite a bit earlier on, they maintained firm control of the game to close out the first. Second quarter, not quite as good, but still managed to maintain control and enjoy a seven-point advantage to the ring. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. Three-point shot was their best friend. I agree with the strategy. When it's working, take advantage of it. I don't really like it. Live by the jump or die by the jump. It's not good. And Kenny, how about what you saw from the Bucks? The energy on D stood for disappointment. They were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Bucks trail by seven. We'll see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward. Beachley is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez, and it's uh, that's the group from Milwaukee right now. Miami's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Rozier kicks to Hero. Good ball movement here by Miami. Nice hit, shot is off. Close to making the defense pay for the last time of Jackson. the start of the second half for Milwaukee. And the vision of the great freak, they're able to pick out the opening. And right here we're looking at Giannis out of the combo. He's arguably the best player right now in the NBA. Not, not just the NBA, worldwide. That's a lot of space, Ken. You're not wrong. He is the best two-way player in the game. Yeah, on a bio. Dominance. He impacts the game in ways that no other player can. Middleton against Butler. Middleton right side. It's Beasley on the wing. The dish to Watson's combo. 
Lillard from outside. Rebound by the Heat. They held a 12 point lead early. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Father Hero. Assist off. To be a cliche, Sorry, Rochier to third. Jimmy Butler says we never lost confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. We're not worried about anybody else, just the guys in our locker room, the coaching staff, and ownership, and management. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they like hey, yeah. Yeah. Spotting up off the ball from the Heat's defense is guessing. Timeout call, the Heat's The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Starry Lines. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. Always some very sneaky defenders on the wings in the NBA, and since the All Star break, no players have been better at setting traps than these small forwards. Second, Jimmy Butler. And, and this is the set of guys that can do as much or more damage with their defense as they can with their offense. They know how to swoop in for a steal from any well, spot. Number 34, Giannis Adekumbo. His first personal block. First seed drop. They're out there agitating. They're programming. Maybe Hawkeye Jr. And opposing all shots. They two shots. the first. Got to always say right now, maybe Hawkins Jr., he has been playing from the UCLA team, but now he's making it right now. He's just wanted to get this home with his better rookie of the year, so he might be stepping it in right now, but his battle range might be turning into Victor Wembayama and the others. I think Wembayama's got a good rookie of the year. That one falls, so he hits both of them. What a great player on a great role at the charity stripe, the D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now, here's Lopez. He has five. Spiked it away. In transition, here comes Miami. And again, it's the Heat missing. And here Jones. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. They trail by nine points. Side Butler to the inside. Bucks foul. Number 11, Brooke Lopez. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And five. Moving for Miami, number 13. Bam on the wire. Definitely. The line for two. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. Experiment has been pretty awesome to watch just because it's gone nuclear. All the skills and his hard work paying off now. So we get some both. Outside. Out left 
and away. Six on the shot clock. Holds it up top, defended by Butler. And there it is for him. ground here in this one tonight shooting it well outside here goes here looking around back to hero to the left side wing Rubio. again the miss by the heat relaxed defense there he's gonna see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. No good from Beasley. Miami leading by nine. Hero passes to Butler. Looking to get back on track here. And the he goes in there. He's got seven. And that's a tough shot against some good defense. Who's here though with the athleticism to step up to the challenge on that one? Now here's Lillard. He's got 11. Shot from 12. Picks it out to Beasley. A pass to Lillard. A tray. the heat lead by 10. Uh, Butler can't get into the paint. He's got some offensive options. He has oh, timeout. Uh, timeout called the box. For a new skit, we're having a happy, happy to have you back with us right now as we have a new great look to have a, one of our best look in between. Plus, the reaction video is returning here in the summertime. And that is right. If you're able to see what goes in, because we have a great one to have your take. And coming soon, we'll be in a suggested video we'd like to thank with our appreciation. And it's all for the thanks to the YouTuber who made our great competition. They chose the best and bester. Full episode is coming in soon, right in here on July of the end of the month. That will be on its way to take a look at it, or in the mid-month mid of the year. But unless if he has a little bit more, two or more to choose, right in between. And for this channel, it's Sertazzi Fan Too Fast. This one is the next one here, and you will have another suggestion of this video. And this will be one of the favorites to have a return here. That will be soon, in the summertime, only on Senate Beast. And with a new skin, that will be the truth on July 29th. Until necessary, if anything has changed. We'll keep your eyes on it now until by 2025. Back to you, Kevin. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis is checked in for Lopez. Jake Crowder comes in for Chris Hilt. Pat Connington is checked in for Malik Beast. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lillard. In for the Heat, Bilbich is checked in. And it's Duncan Robinson in for Hero. He is just brilliant. Almost played for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Robinson finds right. Here's Jovic. Trains the front court. Jovic. Jovic is it. the lead up to 13. Jamie Bacchus Jr. Does so much out there to stretch out the defense. He's out on the perimeter. He drains the triple. Outside Portis. To the left wing. Donington passes to Giannis. Butler against Carter. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Out to the Kumbo. That's a two-pointer. And the Bucks miss again. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. That is prototype rebounding right there. He gets the position down low, boxes out, and they carouse him. Here's Beverly. Miami grabs the miss. Two minutes. Two minutes rain of her. Two minutes. 158 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Jokic, defended by Portis. Here's Hockey. The rebound by the Bucks. I did the Kumbos got six rebounds here tonight. 
Beverly and Robinson. There's the drive. Deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Bucks ball. And what you need for some postseason numbers. Here's a look at the distribution of three point and two point shot attempts for the Heat. And they haven't hesitated to hoist it up from the long range. A lot of long distance attempts. And nothing wrong with that as long as you're shooting with confidence. Pass to Connaughton. Find the shoot. Trying to end the drought. With him struggling tonight, he needs to find some other Bobby Portis Jr. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Three-pointer to Butler. Jamie Butler, six Total three. Tries this contest. That's 86 percent. His shooting has been outstanding, and definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Now here's Beverly. That's tipped. He dishes it to Giannis. Who's back up? Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's in there and gets rewarded. 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Hunkin. Bucks foul on that shot. Number 34, Giannis Antetokounmpo. His second personal foul. Giannis Third team foul. foul. For Miami, they have a line away. Maybe Hawkins Jr. Taking two shots. They're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. First free throw is good. Milwaukee making his position. Good job for the Milwaukee Bucks. Kayla Martins checked in for the Heat. Number Josh 12, Hutchins and Carson. Emilio Gallari. Number 99, Jay Crowder. And so he hits both. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Alinari surveying the D. He kicks to Beverly. Shoots the three. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Richardson. A heat beat by 14. Inside. Pass to Hawkes. In the corner, it's Robinson. Robinson. Peter. At the end of the third quarter, Miami Heat, 67. And the box. Like he's playing with the ball. He knew the time, he executed. And so it's the Miami Heat in command with a 16 point lead as the Bucks are up. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. And we'll be back with you shortly. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. That's the fourth quarter, everyone. Game it to the Bring back in. Let's get going. Finally fun contest. So, with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Smoltz has on the floor. Out of bio, it's center with Martin next to him. Richardson is out there with Hero. And it's Robinson in at the three spot. Count the best. Ali Beasley! Going in the fourth for the Bucks. Well, for a guy who does a lot of his work on the perimeter, Beasley gets into the painted area. Adebayo passes to Martin. Shoots over Crowder. Good work defensively by Crowder. Bucks trail by 14. Easily outside. Alert against Richardson. To the paint. Sticks the shoot. Puts it up. Middleton. 
and get, get it to go. I saw a green light there. He's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. Robinson for three. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Bucks ball. For the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much with the players. Trying to positional back on the court for a heat. Here we go. Number 22, Jimmy Butler. He's here for the heat. Jimmy Butler is checked in for Caleb Martin. And it's Rozier in for Josh Richardson. Here's Beasley. Yep. Ali Beasley. To the open man. Jay Crowder. A heat leading by 12. Heat moving the ball around. Robinson kicks to Rozier on the pass to Butler. Adebayo down low. Perfect. And Adebayo. Down two he hits. And the heat Jimmy Butler. 14. Bam out of bio, so efficient right there. He picks a smart shot that fits his skill set. Middleton right side from downtown. Lopez. Great Lopez. Lopez. Into that way. Just where he wanted to be to grab that back. Oh, here up top. Over by Miller. Offensive rebound. Out of bio. Kicks to Hero. And Collar Hero has it just snubs right down for Lux Steinhack. Hero ready to pull the trigger at any time. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. But look at Jimmy Butler. He's really been playing well. A smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up. And they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. Looks like they're trying to get this one done here, but we'll take a quick break right now and get back into that. Uh, well, I think the Heat are ready to take games on in the second round. Might be Pacers or it might be Cavaliers. Could be another sports split take. Alright, let's see if the Milwaukee Bucks have a comeback experience. I would love to see this one a close game. Back to you, Kevin. Yeah, he's dragged in with the Bucks. And my background change here, too. Back on the board, back on the board, number 34, Jonas Hyman-Lupo. Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. Now, Coach challenged him. He said, this goes to the final buzzer. He's six. Harry was here to throw. Fight until the final buzzer. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. So it's the Bucks now. It's a 16-point game. He's in the past the Lopez. Two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Back to Beasley. And out of bounds. And bam. Bucks ball. ball. Out of Bios defensive impact. Impacts a punch in there. Yes, it's. 
Bucks Jimmy Waller. Is this tonight? So it's the Bucks now. Antetokounmpo looking it over. The kick out to Lopez. Offensive rebound. Giannis Antetokounmpo. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Now, here's Rogier. Now, here's Adebayo. Rocket six. Here's Hero. That's good. Tyler Hero with the assist. And once Rogier spots that hold in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Here's Antetokounmpo. Lopez outside. It's Beasley on the wing. Drill from Dolly Beasley! First quarter, but he's found his game, and you can tell he's got a bit of his swagger back. Butler against Middleton. Pass to Rozier, to the middle. To Bio. And he is this. Barry Rozier is through. Well, he's got to score around the basket. That's where Bam Adebayo does most of his damage in traffic. Middleton looking it over. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Through Lopez. Space Lopez battling on the rebound. Miami leading by 19. Pass to Hero. Here's Adebayo. Lopez covering. The shot by Adebayo. No good. Milwaukee's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Middleton the pass to Beast. Back to Middleton. Lopez outside. Good. You know, a team can have a great team uh, you know, getting a lot of assistance. Uh, this is good. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Very good assistance. If the guy you give it to makes a lot of assists, will up your field goal percentage. But this is a great team effort by everyone. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total at 47. And, and with this win, they bring the season series to an end, guys, with a split two games apiece. And we watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for Bam Adebayo. And you have to love the effort he put forth on the glass. He played with a fire no one else could match as he chased down those rebounds. And the NBA's new CBA cracking down on the top spending teams, great, but also the bottom spending teams. Yeah, before, teams had until the trade deadline to hit the minimum salary for it. Now they've got to be there. Or they lose out on luxury tax distributions, which could end up in the millions. All right, it's time for your New Balance player of the game, and post game will be underway shortly, right after this one. Who do you have, Kevin? And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Bam Adebayo. And he's put on a terrific show of skill in the paint, a combination of moves footwork, and that soft touch down low. It's all added up to one dominant performance for the big fella. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. One nineteen left in the fourth quarter of this one. Beverly finds Gallinari. Crowder, he hits the Crowder. Crowder can knock down a mid-range shot from time to time. Miami leading by 16. Right, looking around. In the corner, it's Richardson. Right, outside. Over to the left wing. Shot clock at five. Pockets, Jamie Pockets, Jr. Making every effort to put this game on ice. 
love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Now, here's Beverly. And Allen on the outside. Offensive rebound. Here's Lopez. And he gets the Lopez. Oh, so, chance at the this line for one Defensive foul on the beat. Oh, Jokic. Oh, right. oh, first first foul. He first team foul. That foul. 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 With that Ooh. size. Uh, and do damage. Not the line for the Milwaukee Bucks. Number 11. Brooke Find Lopez. The Find the length. One shot. The free throw off from Lopez. Just remarkable as the game has evolved, so has Brooke Lopez. Out of bounds. Shooting a bit Box of ball. Oh. Such a weapon of this. And bring back on the line out number 34, Giannis Antetokounmpo. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Beverly kicks to Gallinari. Beverly dishes to Gallinari. Here's Crowder. And he drops in the wall. Hey, Crowder! No problem for Jay Crowder. Right with it. And so my That's the end of the game. My Final score tonight, 88 for my team. And we're walking 74. And the top GA, this one won down. Thank you for joining us here for your playoff this season. See you all in a new season. And thank you, fans, for coming in for another season. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Jimmy. I know you see defenses like that all the time, but it didn't seem to slow you down. Well, not really. Uh, I mean, I guess I just had it going. We started double teaming them too, you know, and they got so many great shooters, man. They just get the win now. And at the end of the day, we're going to win. Yeah, I know that's what counts, man, but congrats on the win. Thanks. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Owens. This is Kevin Harlow along with our 2K Sports crew. So long. All right, thank you so much there, Kevin. And this one was a fantastic game in between. Miami Heat, the underdog team, moving on to the second round to face against the winning team in between Indiana or Cleveland Cavaliers. I like the best one of all happened. You know, Jimmy Butler, I've always got good eye on the pressure on you. you got to know what the deal is. Make that one feel like you're in for a night. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody's loving Jimmy Butler for so long. I don't know why, but it might be what they're looking for. Yeah, definitely true. Here's how I did with the total statistics. 59% with 53% of 100% free throws, three-pointers, and field goals, and 10 fast-break points for Miami Heat. Then, on the other side, was 54 points in the paint and 14 second-chance points for Milwaukee Bucks. 22 punch points and 32 assists for Miami Heat. Then, of course, the other side, offensive rebounds only one for Milwaukee Bucks with 14 offensive rebounds. Defensive rebounds was Miami Heat with 25 with two steals and a block for Bam Adebayo. Then it was only two and three. Five points off or even up for the points off. Three team fouls was Miami Heat. Four dunks made for Milwaukee Bucks and 21 biggest lead for Miami Heat. Time possession was 16.38 for Milwaukee Bucks, and they only had two timeouts to remain. Well, it's time now. I guess that might be it. Hopefully we'll find out if we can see the conference finals for soon. I'm thinking that the Celtics and the Heat are going to be the conference finals. I've seen them in the last postseason. They made it all the way, but hopefully they might do this one again. All right, let's have your take here, Big Silver Spoon. Your three-star players of the game. All right, time for the three stars of the game. Starting off, I give to K1 Smith with 14 points and three rebounds, with two assists and one steal. Six out of nine field goals, only two three-pointers was made, and 18 performance effort was his finishing drop from the first half to the second half. He's been doing really well, and to be entering three-star players. Second star, I give it over to the New Balance Player of the Game. 
This might be all take once. Bam out of Aya. With 16 points, 10 rebounds, the block, and 4 assists. Only with 6 out of 11 field goal rate. He only had 24 performance effort. Yep, he knocked the Beasley out of his hand with the ball. And that is what you try to do. You don't mess this up. That's great. Turned out excellent for Bam out of Aya for tonight. And it looks like he's ready to do more again in round 2. And for your number 1 star, Jimmy Butler. 21 points with 2 rebounds and 3 assists, 9 out of 10, 3 and 3 for 3 pointers, 27 performance effort and 2 dunks has finished it off. Way to be there Jimmy Butler, won't you be my butler for me? <laughs> oh I don't know, maybe that bitch be Jimmy Butler and your butler with that assist here. <laughs> won't you my, buy my, my butler for today? That's the question I'm always asking for Jimmy Butler to look for, but hopefully this might be the turn out to be great to anybody. <laughs> wow, don't say when, but you know, never get that one strong enough. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. Thanks for joining us here for the NBA, and we'll see you all back on the other side for Son of Beast and Terry Crews on the other side. And we'll be back with you shortly for game number six, as we got a couple of matchups in between. The Indiana Pacers are back at home to face against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now will be the one game for the Eastern Conference and one game for the Timberwolves and the Suns back in Phoenix, Arizona. But the sneak peek is coming in that way shortly because we are going to postpone that. And if there's another big change off for game seven, we'll have a sneak peek here after game six before game seven on the other side for the next part of the matchups. But at this point, I hope everybody's enjoying your day and we'll see you all again for the next NBA Playoffs in 2K Sports. This is Paintbrush and Silver Spoon for a while as the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports style. Have a great night, folks, and see you all on the other side. Back to Sonic Beast and Terry Crews, a sports com commentator of the NHL. See you again. Good night in Milwaukee. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.